I am about to make a really huge purchase. So I need to get a high chair for the baby. I have been putting off buying this high chair because I'm trying to like think about it before I do it, but I think I'm just gonna do it. You know what I really hate about this high chair is that there's a price for the chair and then there's like all these things you can buy additional for like more money and the chair alone is like 200 but once you add on like the tray the cushion the baby seat part and all of that stuff it goes up to 400 dollars or like damn near 400 like 380 390 you know plus tax and that's a lot of money for a high chair and the only reason why i'm like okay let's buy this high chair is because of the fact that it will grow with the baby that's the only reason because i don't want to use something for only like a year you know but because i can use this chair for like the future for m many many years to come that's the only reason why i'm okay with this this video is just going to be like a first impression of the trip trap high chair I will probably make a video later down the road once I actually put it to use a little more. My husband's like in shock as to why I picked this chair and I was like, yeah, trust me, like I, I get it. <laughs> but it has like so many good reviews and also the fact that it has like really good support for his feet. That's a big one for us. Obviously it's a thing, like if you do your research on high chairs, like they don't all have like a adjustable feet footrest yeah footrest and that's like really important for baby's um posture so you know i'm just trying to do the best for my baby boy and get him the best of the best we're probably gonna get this one i kind of like this natural wood color and just like get the whole thing with the baby seat and the tray um if you buy everything together it does come out a little bit cheaper than if you buy things individually goodness 400 am i really about to spend 400 dollars on a high chair his crib was 200. How is a high chair more than his crib? Okay, here we go. <sighs> Bye now. Baby, I'm about to do it. What do you mean? I'm about to buy this a high chair. Why? Because it's time. Which one? The $400 one. Why? Cause that's it that's the one i'm buying it's 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 done with taxes it's 435. there really isn't any other high chair that compares to, th to this one there really isn't and i guess that's why it's so expensive because it's just that good i guess like that's what i'm hoping you know with 400 dollars, my god i just can't get myself to click the final button to buy this chair Well, I did it. I purchased that damn chair. <laughs> I was thinking about going to the store to buy my baby and just getting it, but Rory doesn't want to go. So he said, we don't need it. We don't need it anytime soon. Baby's not eating. And I'm like, well, he's not eating because he don't have his high chair. One week later. Okay, so the high chair came in. $400 high chair. $400 high chair. And we're going to do an unboxing and we're going to put it together. Better be natural wood. Okay. This First is piece. The... Cool. This is the one. <laughs> this is the thing where he puts it. So, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. okay, okay. Here's some instructions. We don't need those. <laughs> oh, wait. What's that? This is a little back seat. Take that trash, put it over there. Oh. oh, so this is just, what is this? It looks so cute. So we have to put this together first. So all in all, this was actually pretty easy to put together. Rory's the one who built it, so I was just helping him at first, but then the baby got fussy and I had to go tend to him. It obviously came with everything that we needed. I believe it was like six or seven pieces of wood that actually had to go together and it was not that bad. And then we just tried it out on the baby, made sure that it was the correct height for him, for his little feet. And then when he started on the baby seat part, he actually did struggle a little bit. It wasn't going in gracefully, so he had to loosen up the 
other parts just to make it fit and look at who is using the instructions. Mr. We don't need instructions. And now he's just putting the baby cushion on there and it's all done. Good morning. It's another day. It's about 10 a.m. Um, Rory just went to a eye appointment. He needs like a new pair of glasses. But we got the high chair built. Um, we didn't finish recording yesterday because things just got intense. <laughs> the baby got really fussy and then Rory was like kind of struggling with something. Um, he was struggling with like the this part here. The part this part the seat part it's all done um i love it we tried it out yesterday for just a second and um i really really like it um so i'm excited to try it out today and actually sit the baby down and have some food overall i would have to say it was definitely very easy to put together he didn't really struggle until the very last part like i said like this was the part that he struggled putting together because i guess it was just not fitting so he had to like loosen up everything else so that this can go in there i got my baby here trying to figure out the straps rory did kind of do it a little wrong but um i found this video on youtube this guy literally just talking about this specific um part that i was struggling with which is kind of funny because that just goes to say a lot of people have been struggling with that part um I just don't know. I, I feel like $400 is a lot of money. I just feel like it shouldn't come with any issues like this, just in my opinion. But I mean, it's okay. I mean, parents have to take the extra step to find the right way to do things. Anyway, um, okay, so I'm gonna put the baby in here. I don't know, I, I hate the strap, honestly. It just looks like it's too much. It doesn't look like it's easy to remove to clean. So that's kind of a bummer. I don't I don't know. I don't I don't like how complicated it seems. Especially if you're like gonna put a baby in there. Bless you, Papa. If you're gonna put a baby in there, I mean you don't wanna complicate things because then they get frustrated. Come on, Baba. There you go. <gasps> you look nice. Slobbing away, huh Baba? So I guess this goes around him like this. His face rash is so much better. I mean it's still it's still there, but so much better. Goes in there, goes in here. Um, so I guess I'm gonna tighten these here. So let me just see if I can adjust this without my baby getting mad. It's a little hard to adjust it with the baby on here. It's not a graceful task. Yeah, all right. I'm gonna take him out because I still have to figure out the tray as well. Yeah, we're gonna get you out of there. And then we'll put you back in and we'll have some avocado, okay? All right, so that's not as easy as I would like it to be, the unbuckling part. Yeah, I don't wanna be struggling every single time I do this. I guess it's for safety and I, I get it. I do get it, safety, but at the same time, I still feel like safety doesn't have to be compromised in order to make it a little easier. Ugh. the straps are definitely not easy it's not that hard but i feel like like i've been saying this whole time i just feel like it shouldn't be this hard i mean i guess like i understand making things safe for children you know to not mess with it and stuff <sighs> i don't know it's just i'm annoyed i am a little bit annoyed but it's okay We'll figure this out. We will figure this out. See, it's like not even. I don't know what the f I'm doing. Yeah, making things this difficult. It's definitely not necessary in my opinion. In my opinion. I guess the good thing is that once it's set, it's set. Okay, finally made them even. I don't know if they're gonna fit him. Ugh. Am I being a brat? I don't know if I'm being a brat. I don't know if I'm being a little too whiny about this, but this definitely should be this hard. I'm struggling here. This is not kid proof. This is just people proof. 
You have to put a lot of effort into what you're doing here. I adjusted the straps to where I think will be okay. But now the tray part is the next thing. And I think you just place it on there and click it on. It works. Why did Rory say it didn't? I mean, this side's not kind of on there, so let me try again. Oh, I got it. It worked. I see why he thinks it doesn't, though, because it's kind of hard to, like, put it in there. But, yeah, it's good. <gasps> nice. Yay, I'm excited. Okay, we're going to put the baby in here. And then, well, first I'm going to make myself some breakfast. Okay, so we have his mash right here. I know he's not going to eat most of this. Probably going to go all over him and the chair and the tray and the floor. So here we have his banana mash. We did not have avocado, even though I said we were going to give him avocado. So we decided to introduce him to his next food which is banana. Taking off the tray with one hand wasn't that hard. I feel like I can get used to this and it'll probably get easier the more I use it. Sliding him into the seat was pretty easy. I'm so happy he has this little footrest for him. And now just putting on his straps. This was, again, the hardest part of this whole process. But, you know, as time goes by, it should get easier. Clicking the tray on also pretty easy and here is his food <gasps> here you go oh you ready let's see if it suctions all right uh oh, uh -oh. it's gonna get messy it's okay Give him a spoon. we gotta embrace it <laughs> here 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 he's not gonna know what to do with it here and this plate is moving so far we're off to a mm. very weird start he said what he said i don't want it Oh, he... What is that, Papa? He's like, this spoon tastes really good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he dropped the spoon. There it goes. Grab it, grab it, grab it. There you go. It's like he forgot how to grab. Oh, his elbow. <laughs> <sighs> Let him do what he needs to do over there and then... Um... Oh God, they're both yeah. gone. It doesn't have anything. Here. Here. Uh, uh, here. Uh. Grab this one. You want to grab this one? I'll leave it there for you. Okay. Okay. There you go, bonus. There you go. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, oh, there it is. Here. Oh, no, 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 no,
had no problems. It's very easy to, you know, change the different levels of the, the feet and the booty where the booty's gonna rest. Um, is it $400 worthy? No. <laughs> no, it is not. <laughs> uh, I expected a bit more for that price, but it, I mean, it looks nice. You know, it looks pretty comfortable. So um, I'm happy we do have it because it's gonna be a solid chair for the Boatster for sure. Um, the, the panel uh, where the food goes does a good job at protecting the rest of the chair from getting dirty, which is very nice. I'll say that. Um, but we've only used it a few times, um, so we'll see what happens in the future. Um, would I buy this again? No. <laughs> Am I happy that we have it? Yes. Um, peace. Thank you for your input. You're welcome. Wait, one more thing. Do you think it was easy to put together? Yes, that's what I started with. Do you think it's easy to oh God, take the... questions? One more thing. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. <laughs> what about, what do you feel about how... I told them that I felt it was easy to take apart and lower the level. Okay, all okay, all right, stuff. sounds good. Thank you. So the I, questions I you're didn't asking, hear... <laughs> I already answered. All right, beginning. okay, okay, forgive me. <gasps> forgive, for, for, are you okay? What about, what do you think about the tray? How, like, to remove it? I feel like you struggle with that part a little bit are you telling me i struggle with things i i mean you hit your face with it <laughs> that may be true but i'm at the end of the day i'm fine okay what about the straps oh you don't know about the straps you actually did them wrong by the way i fixed it but it's okay it's okay you know um are you talking about the straps that go the straps yeah his his little oh that was a bit confusing and think, the seat i just didn't have the patience for it that's all and the seat too well, remember you had to unscrew all the other parts well no that's fine it's not that difficult okay it, it's fine okay. i already went over all that all right okay sounds good thank you so much for your opinion i already said goodbye like five minutes right, ago goodbye <laughs>to conclude this video i just want to say i give this chair a 9 out of 10. i do not give it a 10 out of 10 because of the whole strap situation i don't want to go over all of that again because i made it very clear in this video about how i felt about it but overall i really do like how the chair looks and my baby seems to really like it as well i do have a couple more videos about the chair i have a in-depth video about how we put the chair together and then i have a vlog about the baby led weaning so if you guys want to check those out i'm going to link them down below and with all that being said thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video